Welcome back, my lovely viewers. This is Inside Nigeria TV Gossip, the TV that brings you spicy gist and updates with truth and elegance. And if this is your first time on our channel, we'd like to welcome you. Do not forget to subscribe for those of you that are yet to subscribe. And also, do not forget to tap the like button. That is very, very important and necessary. My lovely people, guess what? The Big Brother Ninja Shine Your Eyes Season Reunion is about to get started. And just so you know, I'll be giving you guys daily reviews about it. I'm so excited and surprised too. You know, I watched the trailer and I saw some clips that portrayed a little bit of violence. And I was thinking, because people said this set of housemates mm -hmm. were the most peaceful like and non tossing housemates. Is... So where is all of this Tempest violence coming from? Flame. I think to an extent, Zoma and Beatrix almost fell. Well, I hope you all are ready for the drama, the violence, the secrets that are going to be spilled because you know it's not everything that Kyle did actually showed us on the screen and Ibuka with his corny questions the fashion because mm. I think this set of people actually have good taste in fashion and I actually want to see that person that Angel told politely that in her own have opinion the person lacks sense. Sense. <laughs> please please that was the most polite way to insult someone I don't know who do you think she was referring to you can tell me in the comment section below so it's going to be aired from the 2nd of June on African Magic Urban by 10 p.m. and African Magic Family by 10:30 p.m. So you all should get ready. Nollywood actor Blossom Chukujeku got married last weekend, and online in-laws and trolls did not take time to drag him, his new wife, and ex-wife Maureen. So Blossom used to be married to Maureen, and they got separated. Though none of them have come up to like tell us what led to their separation or what was the reason behind their separation. So over the weekend, he tied the knot traditionally with his new wife. Normally, people want to see the person that Blossom is getting married to after Maureen. And it didn't take long for people to notice that the lady he got married to looks way older than him. So a follower made a comment and she was like, Blossom left Maureen, you know, all this kind of talk. That Blossom left Maureen, who is hot for his new wife, who is nothing like Maureen. And Maureen, known as Red Vigo on Instagram, laughed. Hey! Come and see dragging, like people drag the living daylight out of her because of that comment that she made. Insults from left and right center, up and down. <laughs> you know, some people don't have good mouths at all. Some comments can just make someone suicidal. Like if you don't know, people do not care about the impact that a comment leaves on people. The dragging was so bad. Oh my goodness, Nigerians. Some people are not even nice at all. Let me tell you, it's not compulsory that you comment on every post that you see online. Ah, uh -huh, bad. That's bad. Uh -huh. So you guys remember that last week I told you all that an accountant general was arrested. Accountant general of Nigeria, Mr. Idris, was arrested by the EFCC for allegedly stealing 80 billion naira. And this week, another accountant general, this one, the accountant general of River State, Mr. Fubara, has been declared wanted by the EFCC. For allegedly stealing a whopping sum of 435 billion naira, criminal conspiracies and abuse of office. Now I don't know if this is a kind of challenge, trend or bet on who steals the highest amount of money and how much did us to even say they even want again. You know what, we only get to hear the ridiculous amount of money these people steal but we never get to see it. Same storyline all the time. And guess what, guys, this particular man in question won the governorship primaries for River State. <laughs> come and help me, my Lord, my God. 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 I never knew all these politicians actually know God. Like they know how to pray and mention God. But when they were busy laundering money from people's sweats, they did not call God. Now, if you had seen the way Rocha Sokoracha, former governor of Imo State, was praying in his house when EFCC came to arrest him, I swear you think he's a pastor. So the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC) came to Vix Rocha's Okorocha from his home at Abuja because he refused to honor invitations after jumping the administrative bill granted to him by the commission. A case was filed against him in regards to the diversion of public funds and properties of about 2.9 billion naira. So they broke the ceiling of the house to gain access to the ex-governor. You know, I feel that approach was very, very wrong, considering the fact that they did not come with any court order or a search warrant. But what do you expect from a country like Nigeria that is so lawless?
You know, I used to wish that the news I will bring in online would just be positive news. But with the current situation in Nigeria, guys, I don't know what this country is turning into. So on Sunday, 22nd of May, seven people were gone down, including a pregnant woman and her four children. They were shot by unknown gunmen claimed to be members of the IPOB, IPOB. Now, according to some sources, they said the woman, named Arira Jibrin came to visit her relatives in Anambra State, Orumba North, local government area. Unfortunately, she and her four kids were killed. You know, one of the objectives of the members of the IPOB is to promote peace, security, domestic stability, respect for human rights, and overall commitment to the improvement of the society and peaceful coexistence of all people. Now, I feel if you're angry with the government, you should channel your anger and pain to the government and not to innocent people who are going through the same agony and frustration like you. Now, there is no justification for the killing of Fatima and her kids in such manner and this act should be treated as terroristic act and the government should not relent in melting out justice for them. Now, while the family of this pregnant woman is seeking justice for both her and her four children who were killed, another family has been thrown into mourning and they are also seeking for justice after their son, Mr. Uzoma Chidera, a 19-year-old logistics driver, was accused of bicycle theft by a logistic company known as Around 360. He was arrested and detained and after some days he was found dead at Ikoyi prison. Now how can you arrest someone because of a bicycle? And just so you know guys, this is the story. Chidara was a logistic driver and one day he came back from work, packed the bicycle outside his house and that bicycle got stolen. He went to report to the Errand 360 whatsoever that the bicycle was stolen and they arrested him because of it. They told him that unless he gets to replace this bicycle, they were going to release him. Now, Chidera released this bicycle, but the Eran 360 refused to drop the charges against Chidera. Therefore, the police still held him in the prison. He fell sick, according to the police people, that he fell sick and after some time, he died. Now, my question is, why didn't you inform the family that this boy fell sick in the prison so they would have known what to do? Or you would have given this guy medical attention while he was still in prison? Now, you left this young man to die and you're out here telling us that he was sick. So people don't fall sick in prison and they get treated. Is that what you're trying to say? So guys, this is the end of today's episode of Inside Nigeria TV Gossip. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also to use the like button. That is very, very necessary. And if you have any comments, you can leave it on the comment section below. You can follow us on Instagram at Inside Nigeria TV 1 and on Twitter at Inside Nigeria. See you all next week. Bye.